Akhenaten, originally named Amenhotep IV, was a pharaoh of the 18th dynasty of Egypt who ruled from approximately 1353 to 1336 BCE. His reign is noted for a profound and unprecedented religious transformation that marked a significant departure from traditional Egyptian polytheism. This religious revolution centered on the worship of the Aten, a representation of the sun disk, sought to elevate Aten above all other deities, thereby establishing a form of monotheism. Akhenaten's religious reforms not only redefined the spiritual landscape of Egypt, but also left a lasting impact on its culture, politics, and art. Before Akhenaten's ascension, Egyptian religion was deeply polytheistic, with a pantheon of gods and goddesses, each associated with various aspects of life and the natural world. Temples dedicated to gods such as Amun, Ra, Osiris, and Isis were integral to both state and daily life. Priests performed rituals and maintained these temples, which also served as economic and administrative centers. The traditional religion reinforced the pharaoh's divine status, depicting him as a mediator between the gods and the people. Upon becoming pharaoh, Amenhotep IV adopted the name Akhenaten, meaning effective for Aten, signaling his dedication to the Aten. Akhenaten's religious reforms involved several radical changes. Akhenaten elevated the Aten, the sun disk, to the supreme deity, relegating all other gods to a subordinate status. This was a significant shift from the established polytheistic traditions, as Atenism promoted the idea of a singular divine entity. Akhenaten moved the religious capital from Thebes to a newly established city called Akhetaten, modern-day Amarna. This city was dedicated to the worship of Aten and symbolized a fresh start for the new religious order. The pharaoh ordered the defacement and destruction of images and names of other gods, particularly Amun, whose cult had dominated Egyptian religion. This iconoclastic approach aimed to eliminate the influence of traditional priesthoods and reinforce Aten's supremacy. Akhenaten's reign saw a distinctive shift in artistic styles. Art became more realistic and intimate, often depicting the royal family engaging in daily activities under the rays of Aten. This contrasted sharply with the rigid and formal representations of previous periods. Several factors may have motivated Akhenaten's religious revolution. It is plausible that Akhenaten genuinely believed in Aten's supremacy and sought to reform Egyptian spirituality to reflect his theological convictions. By establishing a new religious order centered around Aten, Akhenaten could diminish the power of the established priesthoods, particularly those of Amun, and consolidate his authority. Redirecting resources to Aten's temples and the new capital at Amarna may have allowed Akhenaten to control Egypt's wealth more directly reducing the economic influence of traditional religious centers. Akhenaten's religious revolution had profound and far-reaching consequences. During his reign, Atenism was enforced rigorously, leading to significant changes in religious practices, art and architecture. However, the disruption caused by these changes also led to economic and administrative instability. After Akhenaten's death, his successors, notably Tutankhamun and Horemheb, restored the traditional religious order. The temples and inscriptions related to Aten were defaced, and the capital was moved back to Thebes. Akhenaten's name and legacy were systematically erased from records, an attempt to return Egypt to its former stability. Despite its brief duration, Akhenaten's religious revolution remains a subject of fascination and study. It highlights the dynamic and often contentious relationship between religion and politics in ancient civilizations. The period also offers insights into the potential for radical religious and cultural shifts, even in deeply entrenched societies. Thank you kindly for watching.